some really, really special guests that have dropped by, and uh, so you guys are in for a real treat. So please welcome to stage a real, a real festival favorite. You're gonna love him, Jim Jeffries, everyone. Yeah. Left the shows to come here. And Hello. How are you going? Good. Um, sometimes when I fuck a chick, I go to fuck her again in the morning and she'll say something like this. No. When we fucked last night, it was a little bit dry and now I'm sore. Now, to anyone who said something similar to this, may I say, your problem. <laughs> My job was to get an erection. Your job was to get your hole wet. <laughs> Didn't you get your hole wet? <laughs> we both had things to do. <laughs> See, if I don't get an erection, I'm called impotent. But a dry hole is the same as a flaccid penis. A dry hole is an impotent hole, and you're not a complete woman, and you should be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> responsibility for things like this, right? There's this whole argument that uh, if I go to fuck a chick tonight and I get too drunk, which I am, and she goes to fuck me tonight and I don't get an erection, she'll go back to her friends and go, I went to fuck that Jim Jeffries, he couldn't get an erection. But if I go to fuck a chick tonight and she doesn't get wet, she'll go back to her friends and go, I fucked Jim Jeffries, he couldn't even get me wet. Are you going to take responsibility for fucking anything? I was in charge of the penis for fuck's sake. I can't take care of everything, right? I used to fuck this chick, I stopped fucking her, and then a month later she sent me a text that went, Oh, by the way, you never made me come. And I was like, really? You think you're the one who makes me come? Do you want to know who makes me come? I make me come! All the horrible thoughts I have in my fucking head makes me come! You have very little to do with it. You're just the container I shoot it into. <laughs> Why am I on the subject of dry holes? <laughs> there are women in the room are thinking maybe I wouldn't be dry if there was a little bit of foreplay. Let's explain foreplay. Foreplay is what we do to each other to get each other ready for sex. If I have an erection, that means I'm ready for sex, and I'm all foreplayed out. <laughs> now the foreplay that's necessary for a woman goes like this. You gotta start by kissing them. Women love kissing. Men don't give a shit about kissing. We used to kiss, we kiss you because we like you, and to be honest, we spoil you. But men don't really give a shit about kissing. We used to like kissing when we were in our early teens, and then someone sucked our dick. And then, what's this kissing thing? Why am I kissing this person? Why would I ride on the swings? I've already been to Disneyland. But we kiss you because we're charitable. <laughs> then you start kissing the girl's earlobes or something. Then you kiss down the neck. Now the whole time you're doing this, you're working downwards towards the cunt. Alright? You know you're going to the cunt. She knows you're going to the cunt. Everybody knows you're going to the cunt. But for some unknown reason, you have to act like you're not going to the cunt and you're enjoying the journey of this creature. Women love a journey. Men don't give a shit about a journey. If a man is driving from point A to point B, we fill the tank, we get on the highway, we make good time. Right? You've got to take women antiquing and by the coast or, or something. <laughs> Shit about the jet. Don't try to titillate a man, we don't give a fuck. Don't try to play with my nipples, these things are fucking dead. You, you can cut these things off, I wouldn't even fucking notice. Just suck my cock and cut my balls for fuck's sake. I'm not for everyone. Now! Some tits you gotta be firm with, some tits you gotta be soft with, some tits you can bite the nipple, some tits don't even go near the nipple. <laughs> tits are like golf, you play the course you're on. Right? <laughs> Would have gotten a big laugh if somewhere else. <laughs>
You keep kissing down, now you're at the cunt. But even when you get to the cunt, you have to act like you're not at the cunt. You have to act like you've stumbled upon the cunt by accident. <laughs> See, we're kissing like a dimply bit of thigh here, and the cunt's there. And you have to sort of almost, ooh, hello. <laughs> I was visiting Dimply Thigh, I forgot you lived down here, you lovely Dimply. No, no, always a pleasure, never a joy. Eh? Do you mind if I pop in? Right then? You lick the whole general cut area. There's a bit of the top of the cut, you lick that. Girls like that. This all takes between 10 and 40 minutes. <laughs> and the woman's hole might be wet. <laughs> and that's the foreplay that's necessary for a woman. The foreplay that's necessary for a man. We just need to see you naked. <laughs> Maybe you need kisses, caresses, compliments and licks. When all we need is you. Maybe we take our relationship seriously. <laughs> You guys like that? <laughs> it was a tender joke that involved the word cunt 14 times. <laughs> but I did it with boyish charm. He's <laughs> 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 very, very surprised at how late we're. This, this, I appreciate you guys coming out to a comedy show this late at night because I know that this economy and everything, tickets for comedy shows aren't cheap. Uh, for men, for women, same price they've always been. Uh, women <laughs> don't pay for things like this. It's, no, women buy things like cushions and stuff. <laughs> I, my birthday's on Valentine's Day, so even on my fucking birthday I'm buying some bitch dinner. <laughs> If you meet a nice girl and you're in a restaurant and a check comes and you put your credit card down and she'll go and she'll reach for a purse and if you go, no no no, it's okay, she's very quick to give up on that argument. Other arguments you can keep going for fucking years. But that one ever so gracious about. This is why I think I'd like to be gay. I think gay would be a good move for me. I wouldn't enjoy the sex, I'd have to get through the sex. I would have a cock in my mouth with tears streaming down my face and as the jizz at the back of my throat I'd be thinking my happy place but it'd be worthwhile just so I could split the occasional bill. <laughs> that's why gay guys are happy and that's why lesbians are fucking miserable. Lesbians are fucking miserable people because they have to hang out with women all day. It must be fucking horrible. They must just be sitting there going, I'm not going to pay for this bitch. I just wore my best plaid shirt and shaved my head. She better treat me like a princess. <laughs> Now, if there's any lesbians in the room, I'd like to apologise. Well, there's no lesbians in the room because laughter's not your thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to apologise for that last joke, but if you hate men so much, stop trying to look like them. You, you never see a Jew dressed as a Nazi. <laughs> shorter hair. So the lesbians are like to be pointed out. You shouldn't have done that because they're afraid of being pointed out. Gay guys love being pointed out. If you, if you point a lesbian out in the crowd and go, excuse me, a lesbian, they'll look like they're up for a fight. Right? Because they're not happy about their choices because they've been fucked over by a lot of men. Right? But if you see a gay guy in the crowd and go, excuse me, you gay, he'll go, guilty! Because gay guys fucking love being gay. You know what? It must be awesome to be a gay guy. It must be wonderful to be in a relationship where if your partner's being a dickhead, you can punch him. <laughs> I can't tell you the amount of relationship problems I've had with women that could have been solved with a punch. <laughs> Jeff, how long have I been? We're trying to time this. Last bit. What's that? Do the last bit. Well, the last bit's going to run us over, Jeff. <laughs> we're, we're, we're trying to time this for the HBO recording tomorrow because I thought lesbians and punching 
TV goal. Um, what was the last bit? What is in Africa? Oh, very good routine. <laughs> Too camp for you. Is that more effeminate than you? <laughs> Come on, she can take it. She can. She can take anything but a cock. <laughs> she, if you see Dumpty in, I thought you were. A, a how do you know? Girl, what do you mean? How do I know? You don't know. You don't know me. <laughs> Remember I fucked to have become lesbians? It's a outrageous figure. <laughs> anyway, I like being here in Canada. I live in America, and obviously I'm from Australia, and I used to live in Britain. And it, it's weird to me that we live in some of the best countries in the world. Everywhere in the first world, we got everything in the world. Do you know that you have a higher so rate of suicide than the people of Africa? Just let that sink in, right? The people in Africa are sitting in their own shit, one in four of them are dying from AIDS, yet they're happier than you, right? You're sitting at home with 700 TV channels and a bowl of macaroni cheese and I'm not fucking happy. <laughs> Do you want to know why you're not fucking happy? Because we were brought up on dreams. And even when I said that right now, the room went silent. Because you're all thinking about your dreams. <laughs> you're thinking, you better not fuck with my dreams. <laughs> dreams are horrible things. What happens when dreams don't happen? You get depressed and then you want to fucking kill yourself, right? You know what dreams are like in Africa? Don't die today, don't die today. <laughs> Right, we used to have school teachers stand in front of us and go, if you work hard and you put your mind to it, you can achieve anything. You know what that was? That was a fucking lie. Because you're a human and you have limitations. And no matter how hard you work, no matter how hard you think about it, you can't achieve anything. Right? Do you remember that fat, ugly fucking kid at school that couldn't catch a ball? He was told he could achieve anything. And as soon as someone gave that kind of shovel and told him to dig a hole, the happier he would have fucking been, right? And if you're a dumb, ugly cunt, and your wife or your husband's a dumb, ugly cunt, guess what your fucking kids are? Dumb, ugly cunts just like you. Stop encouraging them. Well, that joke would go better. Well... Turns out that the TV show tomorrow is going to go horrible. <laughs> Can you stop filming me on your fucking camera, Tex? Stop it. Seriously.